Welcome to the video on cloud computing and how to use Google Workspaces for business and accounting. The information in this video is for general and educational purposes only. We are not responsible for viewers' interpretation of the video's content's accuracy as content is subject to change at any time. The author of this video is not endorsing or promoting the product. In this video we will discuss the benefits of using cloud storage, we will introduce you to Google Drive and the Workspaces software suite. We will demonstrate using Google Drive for storing and sharing source documents and creating shareable links attached to your accounting software. Google Drive is the cloud storage service provided by Google. Google Drive gives you access to storage, files, and software through internet-connected devices like computers, smartphones, and tablets. The primary uses for Google Drive are to backup files, share files, and access files from any device. Cloud services like Google Drive provide an extra level of security by allowing you to back up everything from individual files to the storage of entire devices to the cloud for safety. Keeping a backup of your data in a secondary location means that if your computer is stolen, hacked, or broken, you can easily recover your files and re-download them to your device. Google Drive also enables registered users to share and synchronize their files. Often, file hosting services are used by companies to store and share data with employees or other companies. The other major benefit of using the cloud is the ability to access files from anywhere. Since your files are being stored on a third-party server hosted by Google, anywhere you can access the internet and your account, you can access your files. What are the benefits of using Google Drive for your business? Like other cloud services, to acquire a business version of the cloud storage, you would need to purchase a subscription to the application suite. Google Workspace is a suite of productivity and collaboration software developed by Google that competes with software suites like Microsoft 365. Google currently offers plans for Workspace at different price points, depending on the size and needs of your organization. When you upgrade your workspace to one of Google's business plans, in addition to more storage, management controls, and security options, Google Workspace allows you to seamlessly integrate other Google products like Gmail, Drive, Meet, and more. For businesses, a major benefit of Google's cloud service is its integration capabilities with Google products and third-party software. For example, Google Workspace allows you to synchronize your account with Microsoft 365 products to help you collaborate productively regardless of the tools you use. Specifically, Microsoft Outlook and Exchange can be integrated with Google Workspace to manage your email, calendar events, and contacts. Google also offers a data migration service if your company is interested in permanently migrating to Google Workspace. Using a business account Google Workspace lets employees share and collaborate on documents with coworkers and allows site administrators designated by your company to control employee access to the workspace. Google Vault is the information management tool within Google Workspace. Standard business plans and hire assign a Vault license to all users in the organization. However, basic business plans require purchasing additional user licenses as the company needs them. The Vault gives a business the administrative control to grant or restrict access to files and folders stored in the cloud. It allows the administration to delete and suspend user data when employees change in the company. In addition, you can turn on Vault access for select employees or departments and assign additional admin roles with full access privileges. Why would you want to store files in the cloud and is it safe? You may have some concerns about the safety of the cloud, like potential security threats or risk of data loss. Google relies on a robust security system to protect your data to combat potential threats or issues. Generally, data stored in the cloud goes through two stages of encryption, one in transit and at rest. When the file is transferred to the cloud, it is encrypted during transit and again once the upload is complete and the file is at rest. Google promotes exceptional performance and security for transferring files in transit to the cloud 
and best-in-class security against infrastructure threats like hardware and software failure. The downside to storing your data on Google's cloud services is that you give Google access to your files. If they suffer a security breach, your files may be at risk. The upside to this is that since Google has a robust security system, your encrypted files are generally safe on their cloud services, and there is less risk of being locked out of your files by losing or misplacing the password. As of this video, Canadian customers that use Google Workspace will automatically have their information stored on one of two servers within Canada. Currently, Canadian data centers are located in Toronto and Montreal. Let's create a Google Workspace business account and review some examples of how connecting with Workspace can benefit a company. Using your internet browser, search for Google Workspace and open the workspace.google.com website that appears in your search results. To create a Google Workspace account, you must select a business plan. It is recommended to use the 14-day free trial offered by Google to see if Workspace is right for your business. To get started, you are asked to provide basic information on your business and personal contact information to create an administrative account. Google will ask you to identify your business's website domain or purchase one if your company does not have one already. Next, Google will prompt you to create the first email associated with your Google Workspace account. This will be the default administrative account. Once the workspace has been created, you can set up the account, adjust setting preferences, add new users, and assign administrative controls. When working in Google Workspace applications, you can access your apps anytime from the Windows top right corner. Drive is Google's primary cloud storage system within the Workspace application suite that allows us to store and share data to the cloud. Before we begin, let's review the different ways you can access Google Drive from a PC. Google Workplace does not feature a startup page for accessing the suite. Instead, users typically access Workplace from Gmail or Drive. Google Workspace applications are browser-based and require internet connectivity to access. This provides flexibility to users being able to access the apps from any device without the need to install the software. The downside is that working offline can be more challenging since all of your workspace data is primarily stored online. To work on documents offline, Google requires you to specify which files or folders you would like offline access for. Any changes made to the files while offline will sync with Drive once the user is connected again. Admin users can enable or disable offline access to individual users, groups, and organizational units. To access Workplace applications, you require a web browser, but Google also allows you to create shortcuts for easy access from your desktop. Note that a desktop shortcut is not equivalent to a desktop application, which is an application that runs locally from your device's hard drive. When you click on the shortcut of a Workplace app like Docs, a web browser opens and connects you with the application. Google Drive is an exception and has a unique desktop application that allows you to sync files directly with your PC or Mac. When you install the Drive desktop application, a new local drive called Google Drive is created in your file explorer. Any files you move or copy to this drive will be stored in the cloud. When you open Google Drive in your web browser, your files are stored in this drive and will be accessible. Another way to access your workplace applications is by using Google's web browser, Google Chrome. When you open a new browser window, the Google Apps menu will display from the startup page for easy access. To begin, we have created an accounting folder in Drive where all of our financial information will be stored. Let's review an example. A business has been emailed an email for their internet utilities from Bell Canada. It is recommended to create and use one email to receive the company's bills, invoices, and statements as it is easier to transfer the email control if employees change. There are two methods you can use to transfer these files to the cloud. You can drag and drop the file or upload the file. When you receive an e-bill and an email, to transfer it to Google Drive you will need to first download it to your device. Typically, 
Files downloaded are located in the Downloads folder in File Explorer. Open the Downloads folder to retrieve the eBill. Navigate to your workspace, open Google Drive, then click and drag the file to the desired subfolder. In this case, we will move the eBill to the Bell Canada Vendor folder within Payables. To show the eBill has been uploaded to the cloud, in the uploading pane beside the file being uploaded, is an icon that changes from a uploading symbol to a green check mark when uploaded successfully to Google Drive. We recommend renaming the document to use its source number. Let's rename the eBill to Bell Canada January 3rd, 2022, using the statement date. You can also upload files downloaded to your device by clicking the My Drive drop down menu and selecting Upload a File or Folder. This menu can also be accessed by right clicking on a blank part of the window. Drive documents are shareable with other users and people outside of your organization by generating a shareable link. For example, we can generate a link to our eBill receipt that we can use to link to our company's accounting software. Right click on the recently uploaded file and in the contextual menu select the Share menu option and a new share window will open. In this window you have the option to share the document with people directly by typing their email address or generating a shareable link you can use anywhere. Click the copy button to generate a shareable link. To link our e-bill, open the accounting software and enter the bill's information into the program. In the toolbar, click the icon Insert Link To, select the internet, then paste the e-bill link. Once the bill is posted, the link can be viewed with the transaction at any time. Let's look up the invoice and see the link button in the toolbar has a small 1 attached to the icon. This indicates one link is attached to this invoice. If you click on the icon, the program will open a web browser window with your drive open to the eBill file. The process of connecting a Google Drive cloud file to your accounting software is complete. Another everyday use of Google Drive is utilizing shared folders to stay organized with credit cards charge receipts. For example, business owners, admin, and salespeople may charge expenses on company credit cards. To share charge receipts with accounting, with the Google Drive app installed on their mobile device, when they use the credit card, they can take a photo of the receipt and upload it to their drive. Receipts are then accessible in the shared folder when accounting reconciles credit card statements. See in the Google Drive accounting folder created our individual folders for employees to use and upload source documents to share with accounting. The Google Drive storage solution eliminates the pain of lost charge receipts and saves accounting time as they can access receipts immediately. When sharing files in folders, all users with access can edit and add the folder to their own Google OneDrive account. When updates are made, they sync with the shared folder so everyone with access to it is up to date. Using cloud storage and sharing solutions helps businesses with the flow of sharing of company information and provides safe storage of information and backup files. Businesses should assess their needs first, how the program will work for their business, research the details, and read reviews. We hope you have enjoyed this video on ways to use Google Workspaces for business and accounting.